The second season of House of the Dragon is halfway through its course already. It is kind of hard to believe how quickly the end of the season is approaching, given the two year wait in between season 1 and season 2. While so far season 2 arguably has not reached to the same heights of season 1, it has still been very good overall and very entertaining. The second and fourth episodes in particular have been really good. When the season is over, I will probably do a full review of the season, and maybe even a comparison video between seasons 1 and 2. But that would be a decent way off still. At any rate, now that we are halfway through, I thought it would be a good time to issue a general recap of the first four episodes. After this video I will do episodic recaps. But how have things progressed since the first episode of the season began? And what will happen in the remaining episodes? By the end of the fourth episode of the second season, The Red Dragon and the Gold, the Continental Civil War, Rhaenyra spent so many episodes trying to prevent, is not only inevitable, but actually starts. While blood between the Blacks and the Greens had already been spilled long before, what with Sir Christian Cole's murder of Lord Beesbury and Aemon's murder of Luke, and while there already have been actual armoured battles such as the Battle of the Burning Mill between the Blackwoods and the Brackens, and the defeats of the previous lords loyal to Rhaenyra, the battle at Rook's Rest was the first true battle between the Blacks and the Greens. This was also, of course, the first true dragon versus dragon fight in the Dance of the Dragons, between Vagar and Miles. For the purpose of this video at least, I'm not considering the altercations between Vagar and Arax and Miles and Sunfire, as those were less battles than massacres. The first true battle of the Dance of the Dragons also ended in a definite loss for Rhaenyra's faction. She has now lost another lord loyal to her, in that of Lord Staunton, but more importantly she has also lost Princess Rhaenys and Miles. With Daemon and Caraxes in the Riverlands, this leaves Cyrax as the only other adult dragon currently with a rider in the Black's arsenal. While Miles was able to take out Sunfire and Aegon, removing Aegon as the war leader of the Greens faction really only helps the Greens, if you think about it. Now let's talk about some basic predictions for what will happen in the next four episodes of House of the Dragon. Rhaenyra is going to need to find new riders for the unbonded dragons as soon as possible. Or theoretically, the Blacks have more dragons than the Greens. The riderless dragons on Dragonstone and Driftmark are hardly useful while they remain riderless. Aemond will probably stay in King's Landing for a time. With Aegon out of commission, he's next in line for the throne, and cannot go out on missions without risking the jeopardy of the Green succession. Also, a big through line of Aemon's character is how much he desires to rule, and he can't exactly do that from the field. Aemon is a bit of a wild card. He'll presumably stay in Harrenhal for a bit longer, but by the end of the season I imagine he'll have reunited with Rhaenyra. What happens next? In a word, war. <laughs>